Hello and welcome to my channel. If you want to know what the biggest color trends are going to be for fall 2023 and some are coming in hot, stay tuned. We're going to talk about them in this video. Also, I'm going to try something different today. I'm going to put little numbers on the screen um, where to find that item in the description box so there's not, hopefully it'll make things easier. Let's start off with a color that I am weirdly excited about and I never in my life ever thought I'd be excited about this color because I've never been excited about this color like ever, ever, ever. I think I've actually disliked this color and it's gray. Gray, all 50 shades of it is coming in hot for fall. Now from your initial take, you're like, why are you excited about gray? It's just gray. But listen, we haven't seen gray in like a fashionable, fashiony, celebrated way in a very long time. It's been all about brown and all about beige and off-white and white, but we really haven't seen any gray. So gray is really coming in hot and all shades of gray, dark gray, light gray, warm grays, cool grays. Naked Fashion, is it called Naked? Has some beautiful gray pieces like these trouser pants and this backless dress. Kendall Jenner has been famously spotted wearing this dark gray Bottega dress in Paris. And personally, I really love this dress. I feel like it's beautiful and unique and stunning without being overtly sexy, which I think is really kind of refreshing. There's obviously a million ways you can wear gray. It's a beautiful neutral. And we're gonna talk about some more colors that also pair really nicely with gray here in this video as well. I don't know why I'm so like, wee today. It just, uh, I didn't sleep much last night. Sometimes I get a little crazy when I don't sleep much, but. Now, if you've watched any videos about fall fashion and fall trends for this fall 2023, then you know, you know, I already know that red is a huge color for fall 2023. And if you've been shopping at all, you've already seen red. You've already seen red stuff out there, red shoes, red pants, red tops, red dresses, just kind of red everything is out there available for sale right now. And I love it. I think red is such a classic color. It's so beautiful. Even whenever it's not in style, it's still very classic looking, you know, as long as you don't get it in something super, super trendy. Now, two things I want to point out with red, especially if you were like, oh, I don't know so much about red. Here is what to consider. A, a pair of red shoes look fabulous with a lot of neutral outfits. They look fabulous with a lot of outfits, but I can definitely see some outfits popping up around us that will be some kind of neutral outfit, like all black or all brown and some red shoes. I feel like they're going to be a very sleek looking red shoe style. And then kind of along the same lines, but red looks so beautiful with a lot of neutrals. I love red and like a caramel colored brown together. Red and gray looks beautiful. Even a classic blue stripe looks amazing with red. Red and off white, red and beige. Um, red and basically any color brown I think is my favorite. And I will say I'm not a huge red and black fan. I don't just kind of, I feel like they're competing with each other. I like the softer neutrals with red for me personally, but there's just a lot of fun things you can do with red. And also if red scares you as a pants or a top, you can do a scarf. <laughs> there's a lots of ways you can incorporate red into your outfit without it being head to toe. Green is always a beautiful color for fall in every shade. All shades of green are still very much on trend. No matter what any magazine says about green going out style it's just it's just not true y'all it's green is very much here um Cezanne has a bunch of beautiful green sweaters and dresses i mean just gorgeous i love that beautiful bright green but there's a color of green called hold on i gotta look at my phone uh kohlrabi which is apparently is a vegetable that I've never heard of. And I thought I'd eaten all the vegetable types, but apparently I have not eaten that one. It's like a cabbage or something. Somebody comment below if you eat that every day, <laughs> where you even get it from. Anyway, greens in all shades are beautiful. Love a good hunter green for the fall. That always looks gorgeous. But I would not be scared of green if you are loving it this season and you're like, I don't know, should I buy this? Am I gonna hate it later? For me personally, all the green things I've ever bought, I have never ended up disliking. I love them always. Um, so that's just my two cents. <laughs> I think what is going to happen to gray is what we've seen happen with brown. Brown in the last few years has gotten and just like a makeover. It's no longer this drab color that nobody wants to wear. It's become this beautiful, rich, just soft, but lovely and, and deep looking color that comes in so many shades and so many beautiful tones. 
I love it if you can't tell. I love a good monochrome, brown monochrome outfit. I think that's so beautiful. My favorite brown is what I like to call, or what I think of as the Michael Kors brown, because I feel like every runway show Michael Kors has, there's always this like caramel color coming down the runway at some point, and I just think it's so beautiful. And a lot of women I think have found that an all brown outfit or just using brown as their go-to neutral in whatever shade they love the best, works better sometimes than black. Black can sometimes just seem too something, too stark or too serious, but brown seems softer, more lighthearted. Uh, you know, brown is the is a coffee color. I mean, I really think that brown became the new black for a lot of women and it's continuing on. We all love brown, it's not going anywhere, and so we're definitely seeing that more for fall 2023. Butter yellow is an odd color for it to be in fashion for fall because it's normally reserved for spring colors and it's a beautiful bright pastel yellow, but it's definitely a color that's happening for fall 2023. Back to Kendall Jenner, she also wore a butter yellow Bottega dress, which was so beautiful. And I love this color as like an unexpected color to wear in fall styles. Like I've seen some beautiful butter yellow sweaters that are available. I also think this color pairs beautifully with gray, with brown, you know, browns of all shades, all these soft neutrals. I love the idea of a butter yellow top with gray trousers or gray pants. I mean, I think that could be very beautiful. I think it looks better with these softer neutral colors, but this is a really nice color for fall if you want to do something unexpected or you just don't like the way all these dark colors that are typical for fall look on you. This one might be a good one to try. Now, even though we are not going to be in summer anymore and we're going into fall, um, Barbie pink, it's, it's still a thing. It is still happening and I'm seeing lots of pink, Barbie pink and different shades, plus or minus a few levels of pink out there in a lot of items. But I think pink could be a beautiful color for fall and if you have a wedding to go to, I think a beautiful pink dress would be gorgeous. It's something different. I love all the emerald colors for fall and for fall weddings, but I do think a beautiful pink dress could be um, kind of like a make an entrance kind of color. I have this beautiful dark pink dress that I bought to wear to a wedding and I feel like that could just be such a beautiful color, feminine and similar to red where it makes a statement, but I feel like it's less serious than red. Does that make any sense? But I mean, if pink is your color and you love pink, girl, there are so, there's so much pink out there right now. I feel like in a couple years, we're going to be like someone never show me pink ever again, or will we really? And pink is a great color, but it's just really out there right now. So you'll have no problem finding some things that you like in pink. By the way, I still have not seen the Barbie movie. I had so many mixed opinions about it from my YouTube channel and just people that I asked and it didn't seem right to take to my daughter to. And I didn't want to go see it without her and then tell her I wanted to see the Barbie movie. She wouldn't understand. So I'm just waiting for it to come on video for like free on my TV. Don't know when that's going to be. And then I'll see it. So these aren't all the colors obviously coming out for fall, but these are some of the biggest ones that I feel like are just really making an entrance or just really big. Fashion world is really loving this season. And I think they can be something to get excited about if any of them resonate with you. But please let me know in the comments which colors, whether they're on this list or not, you are excited to wear this fall. It is fun to go from summer to fall because the color palette, the weather, the feelings are so different. <laughs> so I always love to hear what people are excited to wear or not wear, um, either way. But anyway, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about gray and about pink. Are you gonna be wearing those this fall? Um, and of course, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or a thumbs down if you didn't and consider subscribing if you haven't already and I'll see you next time.